You remember when the children of Israel were led by Moses out of Egyptian bondage, Pharaoh said, don't go three days journey. Because something happens in the third day. It represents consummation. It represents completion. Because you ain't got a God until you got a Father and a Son and a Holy Ghost. You haven't got a tabernacle until you got an outer court, an inner court, and a Holy of Holies. Can I tell you that we are in that third day dispensation? I'm going to show you that this is not just a time of the Father. This this is not a time of the sun that was in jubilee that was the revelation of jesus year but i'm here to tell you that the only thing jesus did was reach back and show us the father and then get out of here so he could give a world wrestling federation tag team handoff to the third person of the trinity called the blessed holy spirit and this is his hour In the two, you have the Father and the Son, and it does not use a three to represent the Holy Ghost. Rather, he uses three zeros because the Holy Spirit is invisible. The Holy Spirit is unstoppable. The Holy Spirit is unpredictable. The Holy Spirit is like the wind. You don't it coming and you don't see it go all you know is the effect when it's there and I got news for you there's a Holy Ghost wind about to shake everything that can be shaken that too represents you and God in perfect agreement releasing you into the spirit good God represented by three zeros total Holy Ghost domination means you give no place to the world no place to the flesh no place to the devil it means you are sanctified spirit soul and body this is the anointing of deliverance is the Holy Ghost anointing the anointing is Holy Ghost possession strength you never knew existed God is about to breathe on us again and when he breathes dead things live your dead hunger for the word of God is about to get reignited your dead hunger for prayer is about to get reignited your dead hunger for worship is about to get reignited your dead hunger for the presence of God as the deer panteth for the water brook so my soul long up after thee I gotta get away from work God will just have to supernaturally bless my business I got to close up shop on Wednesday night cause I got a hunger for God that cannot be quenched I, I gotta tell you right now I'll come back to it later you're about to do things you you don't want to do because you're about to get your fine self possessed by the Holy Ghost you're gonna love people that you couldn't love you're gonna say things
things that you couldn't say. You're going to walk in stuff that you haven't learned about. You're going to speak words that you've never read in a dictionary. The Holy Ghost anointing is about to come upon the church. already moving. Somebody, somebody been seeing, you've been seeing, uh, uh, you've been seeing like black spots in your eyes. That's the sound of black spots getting ready to leave your vision. She's been having trouble with her reading for a long time because of black spots in front of her eyes. And what? Wait, wait, wait. That was an hour ago. Yeah. Black spots in front of her eyes. I'm checking. I just kept reading and checking. Wait, you just kept reading just and kept checking? kept reading and checking. Are there black spots there? There's no black spots. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Come here. Read this. Who hath believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry grant. Ground he hath no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief, and we hid it as, as were our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed now shout the next word. Surely. Surely what? Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Read the next verse. <laughs> yeah, we did. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And, and with these stripes we are Kenfield, the Holy Spirit is all over this precious woman. Tell me what's happening here. She had a cataract in her left eye, Pastor, and she said tonight, when you mentioned that about cataracts dissolving, everything became brighter to her. She's had it for two years. There's the Holy Spirit. Come on, you. Oh, there, there. Take your glasses off for me. Father, in the name of Jesus. God just showed me that thing just breaking and just dissolving off of her eye. Go! Look and see, dear. Look and see. Look and see. What? I can see clearly. You can see clearly. all over this woman. You know, before the foundations of this earth, God set his clock. And now...